Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. All right, y'all back with some fight news. Of course, y'all already seen it. I already posted it on my community page. But it's going down. It's going down. Misha Tate, she made her decision. She's moving down to 125, and she's going to be taking on none other than Lauren Murphy. Lauren Murphy's going to be welcoming her to the flyweight division. And um, when I originally posted this, it was going to be scheduled for UFC 273, April 9th. But um, they pushed the fight back to another UFC event for uh, May 14th. So, yeah, it's going down. Tate versus Murphy. Um, first off, I have to say that, you know, I, I do think that this is a good fight for Misha Tate. You know, this being her first fight at 125. I know everybody's saying, where's the on drive fight? Where's the on drive fight? But let's be real. Um, you know that for a first fight, Lauren, uh, Misha Tate wasn't going to go for that fight, you know, because uh, Lauren Murphy, I think this is more of a safer test for her because you got to think she has to test out that weight first. You know what I mean? This has to be a good test for her. You know, both of these fighters that are coming off losses. Uh, Lauren Murphy's coming off that, you know, stoppage loss to Shevchenko. Uh, Misha Tate, she's coming off the loss to uh, Ketlin Varian, right? So I think this is a good fight for both of them, you know, to kind of test where they're at. And, of course, test where Misha Tate's going to be at at 125. Because, you know, let's be real, Jessica Andrade is a very dangerous fight. You know, I said this is a, I said that that's a good fight, but I've already said in my previous video that if Misha Tate moves down, that's probably not going to be a wise fight. That's not a wise choice because, you know, that is a dangerous test. You know, just to see, okay, what if she what if she doesn't look good at this weight? You know, come on, Jessica Andrade, she's dangerous. You all know she's dangerous. You know, she's fast at this weight. She's powerful at this weight, very athletic. You know, as for Misha Tate, um, we don't know, right? The question's still out there. She said she could make 125, but let's be real. She's not sure, right? Because as you all know, um, Misha Tate was kind of up in the air. She had to take to her YouTube channel and ask everybody what they wanted to see her do at this point, right? Do they want to see her take that chance, move down 125? Or should she stay to stay at 135? And, you know, it's pretty much like my my thoughts, too. I felt the same way. I was like, OK, if she doesn't want to fight her friend, fine. Go ahead and try to take that take that risk at 125. You know, this is her second coming. If it fails, she might as well just retire. But you might you might as well give it a try. Right. Because uh, Lauren Murphy, you look at Lauren Murphy. Um, She's a big flyweight. You know, there was a time when she was at 135. Right. And she still looks like she still looks like a bad weight, but she can make 125. Right. So. We don't know. Misha Tate could probably make the weight easy. You know, it might be a little bit easier than we think, you know, because Lauren Murphy, look at her. You know, like I said, she's probably one of the biggest flyweights. You know, she's got the broad, broader shoulders, broad, uh, broader shoulders as well. But, you know, Misha Tate, um, you know, uh, she's little. She has been kind of becoming more ripped as of lately. You know, uh, when she made her uh, made her comeback fight against Mario Renault, she was looking more ripped and more like uh, she was just had, had a lot of muscle. So. Maybe she won't have to make such a rough weight cut once you think about it. But um, as far as the matchup goes, like I said, I like it, you know, just to kind of test where she's at now. Now, if you ask me this, OK, if she beats Lauren Murphy, does she deserve a title shot? No. If she beats Lauren Murphy, then next should be Jessica Andrade. That's how I feel, because right now, Lauren Murphy's kind of teetering on gatekeeper status. Right. Because after that rough, rough loss, right, kind of knocks her down a bit. So if she comes in looking good against Lauren Murphy, then, yeah, OK, if she beats Lauren Murphy, then the next test should be Jessica Andrade or Caitlin Chikeg and Jennifer Meyer winner. That's how it should go. Right. Because once you get past one of those fighters, you have to get one more and then get that title shot. You know, because I don't think that a Lauren Murphy fight to me is really going to secure a title shot for uh, Misha Tate. Because it's not like Misha Tate was a former champion, a former bantamweight champion moving down, you know, like how Jessica Andrade ha had at least held the strawweight strap. Right. And then after that. She was still holding down her spot between one, two and three at strawweight. So when she moved up to 125, I think she had a credible resume to put her where she was. Whereas Misha Tate right now is number 10 at Bantamweight. Right. So number 10 at Bantamweight, in a way, you still kind of have to work your way up. Yeah, you're taking on to what number four or five Lauren Murphy is right now. What is she look four or five? Correct me if I'm wrong. She's around that area. Right. So for Misha Tate, if you fight her. It's the same as bantamweight right now. To me, it is because you're number 10 at bantamweight, you got to work your way up to flyweight and it's, it's still at least beat two or maybe three opponents before you get the title shot against Shevchenko, right? So if you want to work your way up to flyweight, I think the same thing goes. I don't really think she should be um, exempt from um, fighting Andrade or, or the Maya Chikagan winner, in my opinion. That's just me, though. But yeah, um, like I said, Tate's coming off her loss to Ketlin Varia. And Lauren Murphy's coming off her loss to Shevchenko. So I think they're both in the same place where they want to test test out where they are. You know, Misha Tate wants to say, hey, can I make it at can I make it at 125? And Lauren Murphy wants to say, okay, can I still hold it down? You know, 
at gatekeeper status or around this area. You know what I mean? Uh, as for Misha Tate, like I said uh, before, this might be a good task for her because after after looking at that Ketlin Varia fight, it just kind of made me say like, oh man, these girls that are this big, these big bantamweights, I don't know if she can handle them, you know, because her wrestling didn't really come into a, a effect against a big fighter like Ketlin Varia, you know, and her defense was not on point. <laughs> you know, her defense wasn't solid. She was eating big shots from a big bantamweight. You know, Ketlin Varia just never really pulled the trigger, but that was just one of those situations to me where I was like, okay, Misha Tate, you know, she's got to do something. She's got to do something because these girls are just going to get bigger and stronger the more she goes up. Whether you're looking at Chase on, uh, Lad, Duranime, uh, Amanda Nunes again, you know what I mean? So for her to move down to 125, I think that's probably the best choice now. Because if you can't handle big fighters up here, she might have to do like Lauren Murphy when Lauren Murphy's at 135. Take your chances at 125 and see how it goes. But like I said, you know, um, maybe Misha Tate might be able to cut the weight. Because if you look at Lauren Murphy, she's a big she's a big flyweight as well, but she cuts down the weight. So um, this will be probably a good test run for her, in my opinion. Now, style wise, I think it's going to be a little bit more competitive. Just kind of looking at both styles when you put them together, you kind of have the striker boxer versus the wrestler here. You know, because Misha Tate, she has been working on her striking. I think it's more the fact that she's been letting her hands go more. It's not really like she's really improved her fundamentals, fundamentals you know, to to even like a B status, in my opinion, she just takes more chances to let her hands go because I still think her got her guard is too wide. That guard is too wide for me, you know, and her uh, her stance is still too wide. So this might come into favor of Lauren Murphy, because I think Lauren Murphy has the better box in here. You know, Lauren Murphy puts the better puts the better combinations together. You know, she will commit to a jab and she will go to the body a little bit. I think she could throw more kicks. But she, she will need to throw more kicks in a Tate fight, you know, just to kind of take those legs out from under Misha Tate. But, um, yeah, I think if she throws more kicks, then I think, yeah, it'll definitely be more competitive because Lauren Murphy's got the better footwork. I think her, you know, her uh, fluidity when she's on her feet and letting shots go, she can get out of harm's way better and use angles. But she chooses to be offensive sometimes because she's a little bit more of a grinder. And, you know, she is good in the clinch. So uh, we'll see if Misha Tate's strength is kind of sapped at this weight because I think even in the clinch, it might favor Lauren Murphy. It could very well favor Lauren Murphy if that uh, if her strength doesn't come down to fly away with her. Uh, but yeah, Tate, I favor the wrestling with her more so. If she can get on the inside and grind it out, you know, I think she controls top position, you know. But again, Lauren's a big flyweight. So, you know, if they are thinking this is going to be an easy fight, don't think that way, you know, because, um, yeah, it may be a little bit easier and the danger factor might be down versus uh, the Jessica Andrade fight. But you never know. You know, styles make fights and these two frames, you put them together. Lauren Murphy might have success in there, like I said, you know, because uh, she will take chances with her hands and she will put punches together. But what it comes down to here, the one thing I can tell you, I can't predict the winner for this fight, but I can tell you there will be blood in this fight. They very will. They very much will be blood in this fight. Whenever you look at the lack of defense of both of these fighters, Misha Tate's defense is probably going to see minus. Lauren Murphy's probably like the same as well. They both like to, you know, stay in the pocket, don't move their heads too much. So I can tell you that, guys, there will be blood in this fight. Combo Breaker 99, let me know what y'all think of it. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.